Mike, very exciting times at the moment at XYZ. I know this machine's been out for a few months. Uh, machines have been sold and it's doing extremely well, isn't it? It's doing fantastically well for us, Paul. The message has got out there that the product that we're selling, very technically advanced, it's offering customers a great machine at a good price point. So yeah, we're, we're really chuffed with how things are going now. So let's remind ourselves for our viewers that maybe haven't seen some of the previous videos, what some of those technological advancements are that XYZ are offering with this UMC model. Well, as we've said to you before, Paul, the machine's a gantry style machine, giving us fantastic rigidity for cutting all types of different materials. The machine has a torque motor on the C-axis, giving us an enormous 90 RPM rotational speed. Fantastic when you're doing your five-axis type work. Does that torque motor give you more control as well? Uh, yes, it does, and it makes it maintenance-free as well because you've got no mechanical gear parts or anything like that driving the axis. So uh, there's no backlash in it, and, and again, as I said, it's maintenance-free. So you could do turning as well on that table? At 90 RPM, it depends. We would have to add a, a feature into the control to give us that turning capability. But really for five axis machining, getting from one side of a job to another, it's a fantastic benefit. And that's key because some of the, the five axis simultaneous machining that you look at, it's point to point, it has to be very nimble, it has to be very fast. Has this got a fast processing speed and the machine can handle all that? Yeah, but both the Hyde 9 640 and the Siemens 840 that we fit, best in their market range really three milliseconds block processing time, that's the performance you need when you're doing full five axis machining. And how well is that table supported when we look at the A axis? The A axis has got bearings on both sides of the table with the same size bearings, so there's a lot of support there. And if you remember from before, we've said we can put 600 kilos on that table and rotate that without any drop or drag of the, of the, the machine itself. You've also paid a lot of attention to detail to the user. Tell us about what you can do with the Siemens and the Hyde and Hain control to protect yourselves from having a collision. Yeah, we fitted quite a few things, but one of the most important things we think is the dynamic collision detection. So we've got a model of the machine in the control, and as we move the machine either manually or in full program mode, the machine is checking itself to make sure there's no collision between the head, the table, and also you can build the model up to have the fixture in on there as well. So even if you were going to collide with the fixture itself, the control would tell you, stop the machine, and highlight the fact in bright red that you've got a collision coming on. That's a very good feature, very, very handy, especially if you're new into 5-axis as well. And that's why we fitted it, Paul, because we know that we're trying to appeal to customers who need to move into this market area because they're doing multi-face machining or even ultimately full 5-axis. I want to talk about two things here, the ergonomics, getting in the machine and loading it because it looks very, very easy. Secondly, this big window might sound simple, but, it, but it's handy, isn't it? Again, th there's a lot of movement going on in this machine. And again, when the table tilts, you, you need the best viewing that you can get it to see what's actually going on there. So you don't have to rely on the dynamic collision detection. Um, again, a lot of room you can get in there. When the door opens, the operator can get right in there to the table. So he's not going to get a bad back trying to lift parts in there. Because some might argue, what's the best way to have that configured? Is it to have it at 90 degrees to the way you've got it, or is it best to have it like you've got it? What's, what's your argument to support well, this way? Our, our argument is by having the bearings on both sides of the table, you've got full access. You could even use a forklift to get in and lift the part in. Again, we did a lot of research on the, the design of the machine that we wanted. And so we felt if the bearing was at the front and the back, getting parts in and onto that table would be quite difficult for the user. You can load through the top as well. You can load through the top as well. By moving the Y axis all the way to the back, it is possible to load in using a crane from the top. Uh, final point, well, fi two final points. I know I keep saying final point, but firstly, price, economies of scale, XYZ are fortunate enough. They've earned their fortune in being able to bring machines in in stock. So you've got a, you've got a kit there, it can be moved quickly, but there's a good price point as well, isn't there? Uh, absolutely. We've priced this product at a position where we think the market will be interested, which is now coming to fruition. Um, also offering people value for money. We've always done that at XYZ and we've continued that with the 5X machine. How difficult is it for others to compete against you now, now you've got this in your toolbox? I, I think we've raised the bar. You know, we're not the first people to bring a 5-axis to the market, but some of those existing products are now thinking, we've got to improve our technology level in the machine to compete with this product. So I think we're offering everything to the end user, high technology levels at a good price point. And also, with all the warranty, with all the training, uh, everything that you'll need to, uh, to package this machine up. Same XYZ deal we always do, Paul. We offer a good price, you get free training, uh, 12 months, no quibble warranty. So, you know, we're trying to back the machine up with all that that we have at XYZ, the programming helpline, the service support, it's all still there for this product.